Hi guys and welcome to a little tutorial on removing the rest of the anti glare coating from this Samyang 14mm f2.8 camera lens as you can see from the kind of scratchings and etchings and the reflection of the kind of bulb dome bit of glass there the lens has been through a bit of wear and tear I got this cheap off eBay for 50 pounds um, rather than the new price of 250 and I thought I'd maybe be able to remove the remainder of the anti glare coating on this lens so it works properly right now if you take it and there's a strong light source near uh, there's a lot of diffusion of the light coming through the anti glare reflection and through the areas without it so hopefully I'll be able to remove most of it by one of two processes. The first process I thought I'd be able to use an organic solvent, some kind of isopropanol, some kind of carbon based, uh, kind of high intensity, very noxious fumes, noxious, noxious fumed solvent to remove it. Uh, I did some research online, it looked like a bit of a no deal. So I thought let's use an abrasive uh, the finest abrasive I could find is 0.5 micron. Uh, now this is diamond paste, so it's probably made from industrial diamonds. And these are probably the cuttings of um, the edge of diamonds. It's supposedly being graded at 0.5 microns, which is the smallest you can get. I didn't want to go to a coarser uh, kind of micron size. You can go up to, I think, 3 or 4 or 5 microns, maybe even coarser. Certainly... Uh, this is the finest one I could find. I didn't want to use a coarse one in case it does actually scratch the lens. I just want to polish the stuff off the top of the lens and 0.5 microns seemed good for me. Uh, this is off Amazon. It was about seven pounds. Lens is 50 pounds, but brand new. It is uh, about 250 pounds. So hopefully 50, seven pounds and using a Dremel, which I got from a colleague of mine, uh, we should be able to hopefully buff out the rest of the glare coating. It's battery powered, pretty simple. It's not a Dremel, it's kind of a fake Dremel, but does the job. Variable speed. So I can ramp it up. I'm gonna start slow and work our way up. And then um, 